I will be playing Juliet, and she is a 14-year-old badass. <laughs> she, um, she goes against everything her, her society tells her and what's expected of her and what her parents want for her. Uh, they want her to marry a guy who she barely knows, but she falls in love with Romeo, and she uh, makes the ultimate sacrifice for what she believes in, and that's love, basically. So, I mean, she's a you know a, a strong kind of feminist gal that does her own thing, takes her future in her own hands, and I like to think that I do that too. And I've got my sort of own form of badassery here. <laughs> Everyone in my family has ridden a motorcycle at some point, so I kind of got into my blood and I had to get one for myself. I started off playing piano and violin and guitar when I was, when I was younger, and um, I still play that, but ukulele is kind of a newer thing for me that I got into a few years ago. I've started writing songs on the ukulele, and I, I got a, a grant from AFA not too long ago to make an album. So I think a few of my ukulele songs will make an appearance on that album. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet are very young. They're, you know, 14 and 16-ish. I remember having those kinds of really intense feelings of, you know, kind of obsession or like infatuation. And uh, I guess the first person that I really, you know, thought I was madly in love with was uh, Jamie Sparling <laughs> in junior high. So, yeah, that's embarrassing. The play is uh, being done by the Shakespeare Company and it's playing in the Vertigo Studio Theatre, the bottom of the Calgary Tower, from October 1st to the 17th.